Hello, my name is Joanne Delisi, and I'm the studio director of Celeste Piano Studio in Victoria, Canada. Welcome to another Quick Tip Tuesday. So today is part two of how to become a more confident performer. Last week we talked about consistency and practicing. So you want to practice regularly uh, so that you get to know your piece very, very well uh, and you see improvement each week and uh, this will give you the confidence uh, to go up on stage to share your music. Uh, now today I wanted to talk a little bit about consistency and seeing your piano teacher. So you don't want to skip a lot of lessons. You want to go to your lessons regularly each week. Uh, your teacher will um, show you how to improve. Uh, so your teacher will uh, let you know what you're doing really well, but also will give you uh, advice or suggestions on how to make it even better. Uh, and each week you'll probably get some new advice, which means uh, that you are improving if you keep getting new advice. Uh, so that's the first reason why you should see your piano teachers for suggestions on how to improve. Um, uh, secondly, uh, it's a good way to practice playing in front of someone, right? So when you're home practicing, you're probably quite relaxed <laughs> uh, and, um, and you're able to play through your piece uh, easily when no one's watching you. Uh, but have you ever uh, gone to your lesson and said to your teacher, wow, that went so much better at home? Uh, and the reason being is that, you know, now you have somebody watching you, your teacher is watching you. Uh, so getting used to playing in front of somebody every week is very important uh, in um, preparing for performance where you're playing in front of an audience. So see your teacher each week so that you get a chance to practice playing in front of somebody. It's also a really good way to practice um, uh, working on a different piano. Uh, so again, when you're practicing at home, you're not nervous, you're relaxed, you know your instrument, you know the sound of, uh, um, of playing in your space, in your living room or wherever your piano is. Uh, but going to your teacher's studio each week, uh, you're, you know, you're having to adjust to a different instrument, adjust to a different space. Um, and this is good practice uh, because of course, when you uh, practice um, uh, at, for a recital, uh, you might not know what the piano is going to be like. You might not uh, know what the hall acoustics are going to sound like. Uh, so practicing playing uh, in a different space on a different piano each week is also a good way to prepare for, uh, for a performance. Uh, and so that's my tip for today. Make sure you see your teacher every week for suggestions on how to improve, uh, to get used to playing in front of somebody, and also to get used to playing on a different instrument um, other than your own. Uh, so next week, uh, tune in for part three of how to become a more confident performer. Thank you.